Uh, so dears, today we are going to discuss sources of water. This is our today's topic. Sources of water. In our last video, we generally talked about water, why is it important and why is it in too much large quantity on the planet Earth and why it is essential for life on Earth. Now we will discuss that if it is so much important for life, then how can we get natural water naturally? So sources of water in this topic, we will discuss it like surface water is the first source. And second is the underground water. Underground, underground water. So surface water is one which is present, present on the surface of earth it is called the surface water surface water is the one which is present on the earth surface it is of three types we can divide it into this the surface water we can divide it into the rain water the second is the rivers in lake water and third one is you know the largest water body is the ocean water so first of all let's discuss about the rain water land land rain water is the purest form of water that we get uh, naturally, when rain occurs, it's raining, we get the natural type of purest form of water. While coming down through the air, it can get some impurities. Like it will carry the dust particles, the germs, the bacteria and dissolve some of the gases which are present in the atmosphere. And the subsequent shock of showers are free from these impurities so if this is a raindrop and here is the carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide these gases will come down with these gases so when they they react with the water then the rainwater become acidic and we call it acid rain but we are talking about an area which is free from pollution which is free from uh, hazardous gases away from the cities and industrial areas so that really rainwater will be the purest form of rainwater rainwater is beneficial for crops crops need this rainwater to grow And it is also beneficial for drinking because it is the purest form. We fill our reservoirs with this rainwater and then we use it for domestic purposes like we do here in our Islamabad city. And the second is the rivers and lake water. The water in rivers and lakes come from the rain because the rivers are ultimately the rainwater. The river water is also from the rainwater and rain is important so we can say that uh, the rivers the river water is directly from the rainwater and 
by melting of snow and snow on mountains when it melts water rushes down the hill and makes rivers and lakes which is also fresh water source or we can say drinkable we can drink from the rivers and lakes and we use it for many domestic purposes while coming down from the mountains it dissolves many soluble impurities and lake water contains less quantities of these dissolved salt because it settled down uh, what the molecules and the impurities settle down at the bottom Besides, there are some other uh, lakes that contain salty water because it comes from such places that contain mines, small lakes disappears during dry season. So if a lake is small, the water will evaporate and salts will remain here on the river bed or the lake bed and this very area become dry and third is the ocean water streams and rivers finally join the sea and therefore they are largest reservoir of natural waters ocean water is the most impure form of water it contains a large percentage of about three 0.5% of dissolved salts. So oceans are ultimately formed from the rivers and lakes and largest bodies of water. So it contains sodium chloride and other salts and its percentage is about 3.5 percent which is a very great number of salt percentage so the sodium chloride is in large quantity and other salts are also present in there like the saline water is the salty to taste it is quite unfit to uh, irrigate our crops as well as for drinking not fit for drinking and irrigation purposes irrigation purposes so this is about the surface water uh, that we discussed here today uh, sources of water naturally water occurs on planet earth in these two our uh, water comes from these two sources uh, surface water and underground water underground water is the well water but we discussed the surface water first here the surface water is further divided into three categories uh, rain water which is the purest form of water then the river and lake water which is which may be fresh water or salty water some small lakes contain salty water as well but as far as the ocean water is concerned it is mostly salty and only the marine and the, the marine environment fish or the salt uh, loving environment um, fish will reside there will live there and they thrive there like the sharks and the orcas and other so this is the surface water distribution that how it is distributed when the rivers and lakes join their forces they form a big water bodies and that water body is called the ocean which contains 3.5 percent of salts in which last large number of sodium chloride is present which is unfit for irrigation purposes and drinking purposes we get salts by drying up through the plantation system mm. 
we get the salts from the seawater because it contains a large number that is 3.5 percent of the water when a lake is small it evaporates all its water to the atmosphere in the form of water vapors and the place become dry but if the lakes are larger enough then there is some amount of water is left and when the water the that really water contains large amount of salts if they are coming down the hills which will contain iodine and other stuff like that so then that very uh, lake water will also be not fit for drinking uh, like in the sahara oasis you can see that the birds when fly through this 4000 mile journey they don't drink from that lake but they just eat the flies that are swarming around are on the water they eat those flies and get their water requirements from those flies and this is how the surface water is distributed in our next video we will discuss about the underground water hope this makes sense take care Allah Hafiz